Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Contemporary Resort and we're gonna be doing a springtime themed monorail crawl. I'm very excited, we're gonna be taking the monorail to all the different Magic Kingdom resorts and seeing what springtime favorites they have and even some Easter offerings. I know some of the lounges actually have Easter specialty cocktails and I'm very excited to try them. So, let's go do this. If you're not familiar with what a monorail crawl is, well, basically, we are going to be taking the monorail and visiting all the different resorts and getting ourselves an alcoholic beverage or a themed snack and then hopping back on the monorail and visiting the next one on its stop route. So it's a very fun activity to do and it doesn't cost any money except for getting your drinks and getting your snacks. And uh, yeah, I love it. I believe it's been just about a year since we started doing seasonal monorail crawls where we come and we do a monorail crawl theme to the holidays. So we've done Christmas, Halloween, end of summer, and now we're rolling into the springtime season and add a little Easter into it. And I'm very excited because they all have different Easter themed drinks. Like they had Christmas themed drinks and Halloween themed drinks. And I love thinking like, I love doing themed things. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I will put the uh, video links in in the description and you guys can uh, take a look at those because they're really fun and our first stop here at the contemporary is going to be the wave because they always have specialty seasonal cocktails and i think they've got some pretty nifty easter ones happening right now just take a look at those right there we've got an easter egg mimosa a bunny sparkler and the chocolate egg these are fantastic I can't wait to try them. <laughs> oh, and look at that. Here they come. Fancy. <laughs> we decided on taking our cocktails over into the blue room and joining me today on our epic Easter monorail crawl, Jackie. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> because Jackie really doesn't like gin so much, I think I'm gonna start with the bunny sparkler and then Jackie's gonna probably dive right into the chocolate egg, which is Bailey's Godiva, Coco Liqueur, Frangelico, and half and half. And she tried to make like a very pretty uh, <laughs> Mickey in there, but it was hard because it didn't actually stay. So it looks like Minnie with beer, uh, with a with a bow, right? Yeah, it looks more like Minnie, definitely. She tried though. You know, she they did. don't hold up too good, but it was. We appreciate the effort. So happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Passover if you celebrate. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Happy Spring to everyone. This is really light and refreshing. So you can taste the gin, but like also the grapefruit and the sparkling water in there. Very refreshing, like it's a delicious drink. Mm. Jackie, what do you think about the chocolate egg? It's great, it tastes like a chocolate martini. You can get these in a lot of Disney bars. So it's very it's chocolatey. Like, it's very chocolatey, very creamy and rich. Uh, very low on the alcohol taste, but very yummy on the chocolatey taste. Fancy. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited to try the Easter egg mimosa. I don't know what really makes it different like as an Easter egg itself because it's orange juice, pineapple juice, and then sparkling wine. But what what makes it Easter egg? I, I do like that there's a pineapple and strawberry on top though. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just the colors. I'll give a little, little sip sip here. Ooh, that is good too. All of these drinks are very light, very refreshing, very like springtime and easter -y. Like, I guess it really goes well with the menu. It's not really hard on the alcohol. It's refreshing. <laughs> the one thing though that I do not like about the Bunny Sparkler is the grapefruit juice. I'm not a big grapefruit juice fan, so I think I'm gonna do a little mixing around here. I'm gonna add this and this. Oh, wait. Yep. I Get this. Uh, that's on. what I was thinking. Hold on. So we're gonna we're gonna combine it and make it a pineapple orange sparkle bunny sparkle. Okay. I All like right. the idea. Ready? Yeah, ready. Whoop. So they're both sparkly because uh, the one has club soda, the other one has a sparkling wine in it. So basically, all we're doing is mixing, mixing uh, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, gin, sparkling wine, and club soda. That's a lot. <laughs> It tastes better this way. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. It does. Yeah. Tastes better this way. Yeah. So that's our first stop done. Done. 
<laughs> now that we got our first stop done, we're gonna aboard the highway in the sky and head on over to the Polynesian, but a quick pit stop at the TTC because the monorail doesn't stop at the Poly right now because of the refurbishment. So we'll walk from there. It's gonna be a little fun journey. Before we go though, we can see they've got some really nice Easter festivities here at the Contemporary. An Easter egg resort scavenger hunt, uh, courtyard activities. Look, bunny bingo. I am so excited to go for a monorail ride. I feel like I haven't been on there in like in a couple of weeks or even months. And it's beautiful out right now. Oh, there it is. Wait for us. I'll never forget you. And it'll be my first time with the new separators. Looks like we're going to 15. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to do monorail aerobics later on. How are we gonna do monorail aerobics in here? Look at this. We've been delayed. Delayed, I say. And there's the castle. <laughs> Coming up on our stop, like I said, we have to get off here to walk to the Polynesian because they're refurbishing, uh, well, refurbishing, they're doing a refurbishment on their uh, monorail uh, loading platform. There we go. <laughs> It's such a beautiful day, actually, to walk to. I love it. But bye, monorail teal. Bye. <laughs> you can see we got the sign for the Polynesian walkway, and then the signs for the parking lot, villains and heroes. I think this is the only parking lot that actually has a villain side, and I like it. It was only about a three minute walk, and we've been doing this now, what is this, the third? Holiday monorail crawl, right? Yep. Yeah, because Halloween was closed still, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no. We did Halloween. Oh, we did Halloween. Yeah. But oh, so Christmas it was closed. And now this is the springtime uh, monorail crawl. So it would be the second one since the uh, monorail station has been closed. And it's not that big of a, a walk out of the distance, but it does feel different when you're able to just take the monorail. I love it. <laughs> now that we've made it to the Polynesian, our first stop is for an Easter Dole Whip. How cool is that? Right here at the Pineapple Lanai, it looks really, really fancy. I'm gonna see if we can get maybe some rum in it. Have a little rum in uh, Dole Whip. A rum in Easter Dole Whip. Sounds fancy. Look at that. It is a Easter marshmallow soft serve. And then of course, you can get a little bit of rum in there and make it a rummin' Dole Whip. This is gonna be fancy, I'm excited. Happy I'll get started on another one. Now, need that up the window before I it. now we've got our marshmallow Easter uh, soft server. It's not like a Dole Whip, but I mean, it's a soft server and we got our topper and we get to enjoy with a view. Look at this. Beautiful. Isn't it? It's like the Easter bunny in the cloud. Oh, would you look at that? Florida. Fancy. Your magic. So let's, let's try, try this. First. Let's try it without the rum. Yeah. That is good. Mmm. I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna try it. Now, because it's not like a Dole Whip, this is mm. Parrot Bay and it's coconut rum. So coconut with marshmallow saucer. So I don't know if I should go full blown and just dump it in there or... I don't want to ruin my yeah. like, delicious all right. ice cream. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to shoot it. You're going to take it like a shot? I'm going to I'm gonna take it as a shot. Oh my gosh. And then chase it with the marshmallow saucer. Oh my gosh. Okay? okay, are you ready? Oh my gosh, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready for are this. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Here we go. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm not ready for da, this. Da, 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 da. Yikes. It mixes very well. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's very, very good. I don't know. Do a spoon shot. Yep, do like a little spoon. Just spoon eat, shot. Yep, put a little bit right on there. Go ahead, just like that. Okay, okay, you might want a little bit more ice cream, but that might be good. It mixes good, doesn't it? You're shocked. I can tell by your face, you liked it. 
<laughs> I'm trying to tell both cameras. I'm right now. <laughs> That's delicious. I'm gonna give you a little. Yeah, Jackie's gonna give me a little bit of her shot, just so I can have it her way. There you go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Hurry. <laughs> is that not so good? Why does that mix so well? I don't know. It's marshmallow so with coconut parape rum. Why? Smalling. Method to the madness. It tastes so good. The coconut rum adds so much flavor <laughs> to the marshmallow. I'm sorry. I'm just jealous because <laughs> you had a better system. Look, I'm like baby. I know, me. but it, I wish I did the same. As I said, it's an unorthodox method, but it's a method. Actually, you suggested <laughs> redoing this first. So. Oh. Why did I do the things I do? <laughs> the thing is, is I wasn't expecting that we can get the rum topper with this uh, Easter uh, soft serve. So like a trip to the Polynesian isn't complete without grabbing a drink and hanging on the beach. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna see what's at the Barefoot Bar. Maybe they have an Easter drink, I don't know. Or maybe we'll just get a beer and hang out on the beach and just enjoy this because I'm loving it. Like, I, I feel like I, I am yeah. loving it right now. Yeah. I am so happy. Our rums. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> there are a couple different spots where you can grab a drink at the Polynesian, but Trader Sam's is not one of them because it is closed. But the Barefoot Pool Bar is a sleeping gem. I love coming out here because they have a very big uh, variety of cocktails and even some Dole Whip cocktails. So I like to come out here and we always sit on the beach and enjoy a drink. So Easter, I have to do it. Just look how beautiful it is out here. And then you have the nice Polynesian music. It doesn't look like they have any Easter drinks here. So I think we're just gonna get a Havana lager. I've had this beer before and I really liked it and I seen that they have it here. And I think it's a good beach beer. That's important. Who, who showed you this beer? You showed me the beer. Okay, okay, just. just. You can have on that one. <laughs> I got the Havana <laughs> Look at this skill right here. <laughs> but wow, I love coming to hang out at the beach. I do. I'm very excited. I'm not going to drop the beers. <laughs> That's an Easter egg. It is. Holy moly. Holy moly. I wasn't expecting that. Me neither, especially in the sand. Oh, is that another one? Oh my gosh, there's another one. Right there. What? Someone hid and it's a real egg. Wait, are there more Easter oh eggs? Gosh. Oh, now we're on like an Easter oh egg hunt. God. Oh boy. All right, we got to find these Easter eggs. I know. Yeah, we have to rebury it so that other people can find it. I really thought this was another Easter egg, but it's it's a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon, but it was perfectly shaped. <laughs> that was so awesome. Wasn't expecting to see Easter eggs, but we kept them there. We don't want to pick them up because we want other people to find them. And uh, we found two of them and a spoon, and uh, it made it magical. Like I, I giggled, like I was like, oh boy, I got super excited. <laughs> living life here kid living life you know yep look at that what a view we got that wonderful polynesian music oh and then there's the bungalows oh, i'm telling you that brings back such great memories one of my favorite memories of all time was drinking coffee at the bungalow on christmas eve so amazing like i was staying there and i went out to like my little deck area and had coffee at 7 a.m and it was it's amazing. As nice as it is over here at the beach of the Polynesian, I think we're gonna have to move along and go to the Grand Floridian. I don't think we're gonna walk back to TTC to grab the monorail. It's probably a lot easier and faster to walk to the Grand Floridian from here and then take the monorail back to the Contemporary. So that's what we're gonna do. Here's the beach area and you can see right there is the Grand Floridian. So definitely a lot quicker to just walk. It also looks like we timed it that maybe we'd be able to catch a sunset when we get to the Grand Floridian. It's such a nice night. The sun's hitting me in the eyes right now. So we're gonna walk through most of the construction area for the Polynesian. So that's gonna be nifty to look at as well. Look at this. The walkway to the Grand Floridian Resort and then 
what used to be the Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show. Here is a look at the Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show. And you can see they got everything still set up in there, but rumor has it it's not coming back. I don't think they would just let this go to waste, so they might retheme it. Might be something different, maybe, maybe Moana. That'd be fancy. I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how to feel. It's adorable. It's nice to see that humans never changed. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me. It's Maui, breathe it in. <laughs> and now we are over at the Grand Floridian. Only about three minutes. Like literally it was three minutes to get over here. A hopscotch away. Hopscotch? The hop skips the jump. Hop <laughs> We're gonna cut through the Disney Vacation Club lobby because they do have some chocolate Easter eggs inside here and I wanted to show you those. And also, they finally finished the construction on the penguin fountain. I wanted to see what it looks like. I'm sure it's just the same way it was, but probably a little cleaner. And look, there is an egg. Is that Pegasus? I don't know who that is, but I like it. A chocolate sculpture, hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Look at that. Happy Easter. Oh, it is Pegasus. I see him in the back there. Well, the egg is Fantasia itself, but I think there was a little Pegasus in the back there. I love Hercules. What can I say? Hercules, Hercules. And take a look at the penguin fountain. I'm so happy to see this. The walls have been up for quite some time, and it's my first time seeing them with the walls down. Look at that, it goes all the way up. Hello. I'm not sure if they have any Easter drinks here. We're gonna check the pool bar and then of course, Enchanted Rose, but they do have some Easter treats and Easter eggs like we've seen in the DVC building in the main lobby. So at least as long as there's some kind of spring Easter theming going on, I feel happy. I, ha I feel happy regardless <laughs> yeah, though. Yeah, I feel happy too. <laughs> The pool bar didn't have any special Easter drinks, so now we're going into the main, main lobby. And this is always just Easter decorated with like nice little Easter eggs. So I'm sure we'll find something fancy in here. Easter. Yeah, look at that. As soon as we walked in, they have an egg walk. A design your own Mickey ears at four o'clock. Bunny lawn games at six. Ooh. What time is it? I think it's past six. 6.46, we missed the we bunny. Missed oh. Dang it. <laughs> oh, look at this. How beautiful. And then right next to the piano, the wonderful Easter egg. And it's Humpty Dumpty. The chocolate sculpture, hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Oh, and you can see the elevator coming in. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. And that honestly looks like Alice a little bit right there, doesn't it? That is beautiful and then take a look at the castle here. And the one thing that stands out to me is a little hidden Mickey right there. <laughs> a bibbity bobbity boo. <laughs> I'm gonna head on up to the Enchanted Rose, which is on the second floor. I'm gonna take our favorite little uh, staircase. This is my favorite staircase on Walt Disney World property. And here we are at the Enchanted Rose, one of my favorite lounges at Walt Disney World. Look how beautiful it is in here. All Beauty and the Beast themed. And we're actually gonna go into the green room, well, inside the Enchanted Forest area. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Oh, hello. Oh, fancy that. The Fairy Tale Forest. I thought it was in the Enchanted Forest. You make your own rules. Yeah, I make my own rules, okay? <laughs> Two seats actually came available at the bar, so we decided to come over and sit here. I do love the Enchanted Forest, but oh, I like the lighting in here, and I like seeing our drinks made. I think it's extra fancy, especially the drinks we're about to order. You know, because normally the drinks are like kind of brought out table side and told with a story, but because of COVID, they're not doing that. You can still order the drinks, but you can't see them prepare it unless you're sitting at the bar. So, here we are. 
these are the table side cocktails we were talking about. It says the tale of table side cocktails. Normally, they bring the card out and they would tell you a story about Beauty and the Beast as they prepared the cocktails. And uh, they don't do that now. So at least we can sit up here and we can watch it. And they were very fancy and they were signature cocktails. So we got one of each, and more and Envy. And we're gonna try to play a guessing game of who's getting what. Caramel tea with a bit of salt from the tapir. Oh! Uh, you have grey goose of tea. Wow! And for Envy, we have lemon juice with some apple puree in it. Some bitters for this. Oh wow! Look at all those fancy liquors. This is going to be really awesome. I haven't had one of these since it first opened. I actually, I had this on opening day. And I never got a chance to. I never got to try them. Oh yeah. Oh, that's definitely a more because here comes the rose petals. Beautiful. Well, I guess we know who's getting what. <laughs> oh, and here comes the envy. And here it is. A tale of tableside cocktails. Obviously, to the left we have love. Gift with thought. Truly seeing someone and no strings attached. And you can see the rose petals in there. And then envy. The cocktail which is a story. Green with envy. Strong and bitter. This is good stuff. I felt like Dwight. I felt like Dwight singing that. Envy, green with envy, strong <laughs> and bitter. <laughs> but look at how beautiful that is, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yes. Honestly. So you got envy and love. Envy. Amor. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is good. That is so good. That is so good. I really, really love my drink. It is a little bit stronger than the Amora. Yeah. Amora. <laughs> and the bartender's kind of just, uh, he set it down in front of us, and that's the way we went with it. Yeah. You know? Well, we just went with We just rolled in front with of it. Us. Yeah. And Jackie says that that might be her favorite cocktail on Walt Disney World property. It's so delicious. Yeah? It's got the tea flavor in it, and it's just out of this world. It's so good. That makes me so happy. Yeah, me too. Can I eat one of your rose petals? Yeah. I gave you a bigger one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Eating a rose petal. To spring. To spring. And to new life. New life. Cheers. Cheers. Bing. Well. Oh, yep. The rose petals weren't very delicious, so <laughs> we decided to get some truffle fries. And I have to tell you, these might be my favorite fries on Walt Disney World property. Hands I down. love them. Yeah. They have such a like special taste. I think the Parmesan cheese is like 18 months yeah, aged. It's like aged, yeah. Yeah. And look at the black truffle on top of there. And it's a big portion. They're $14, but I really think they're well worth it. And it goes well with our with our drinks. Yeah. I don't know why those truffle fries are so amazing, but I love them and I get them all the time whenever I come here. And this bar is so cool. It's such a chilled atmosphere. So so happy we stopped here. So now we must be moving along. Done! <laughs> Now we're gonna jump back aboard the monorail and make our way past the Magic Kingdom and over to the Contemporary. I am so excited. What a fun night this has been. So exciting. I absolutely loved all of the stops. And uh, yeah, this has been great. And I think maybe I'll wash my hands. 
I say that so sudden because I always like to stop to Basin White here at the Grand Floridian and always wash my hands. And they even have some spring flavored soaps and Easter soaps that I want to show you. As you can see, we have daisy soap with the nice little daisies on it. And then a Mickey, or like floral soap. And then Easter egg bath bombs, three for 15. Very fancy, lots of cool springtime Easter like soaps. And I love basin soap, it's always the best. It leaves your hands silky smooth. Yay. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Oh. Yeah. And now to the monorail. Direct services to Epcot available by bus. Oh, so okay. Whoop, and here it comes. Monorail Red. Look how beautiful this is. I'm so excited. On the way here, we had Monorail Teal. By the way, so Oh, and it looks oh. like we got one empty for ourselves. I you got one. Oh, I like it. Yeah, Fancy. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Only because we have it to ourselves, but oh, if we need to combine, we will. Combined. Yes. Oh. <gasps> Do you know what this means? <laughs> it means we can do monorail aerobics, but you can't really twist and turn here. Whoop! And then, ha! <sighs> Whoop! And now we are at the Contemporary! Now we made it back to the Contemporary, so that is our full monorail loop. And I think the only thing left to do is say goodnight to the castle. I always have to say goodnight to the castle. Thank the monorails for being excellent transportation for this evening. There she goes. <laughs> I love it. And then of course, uh, good night to the castle. The park closes at 9 o'clock tonight. It is 8.30. So, park's still open for another 30 minutes, but because it's Easter weekend, I don't think we were going to be able to get a park pass. So, just hung out at the resorts and had a fun night. And uh, at least we get to see good night to that beautiful castle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had so much fun just spending Easter crawling around the Magic Kingdom Resort Loop. I absolutely love it. This is such a cool activity and it's, like I said, it's free to do. All you have to do is pay for your drinks and your snacks and I absolutely love it. It is really fun. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Happy Easter to everybody and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night. Bye. One more monorail for the road. The Walt Disney World monorail system. I love seeing those letters and I can literally watch monorails drive by all night long. Oh, this one's going pretty quick. <laughs>